Hi, beautiful souls. This is Ashu here and welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And today I would like to um, uh, talk about the three signs of Kundalini awakening integration as I get a lot of requests from the people that I make videos on the difficulties, challenges, and the dark spaces that we find ourselves during this process. So I was requested to start talking about the Kundalini integration symptoms. I uh, since I talk from my experiences. So today I'm going to talk from my experience of what starts happening and how do you know that your kundalini process is making a forward momentum and is integrating for betterment and in terms of the evolutionary nature of this energy so uh we will be doing that so first of all if uh, you have not subscribed to my channel and would like to help grow my channel don't for forget to subscribe and uh, uh, press the bell icon for notifications on the videos like these and uh, if you would like to further support my channel don't forget to press the heart symbol underneath this video and let's get started with today's topic of three signs of kundalini awakening integration so after navigating through the difficult and challenging parts of your process that is you are well uh, aligning and you are doing your shadow work with complete honesty and personal responsibility and you will start noticing those stages and phases in between while you will be doing your shadow work that is uh, emergence of joy space <laughs> in your energy field and uh, you will be tapping into this a joy field of consciousness in your energy field from time to time. And uh, since you're clearing away the stuck patterns or stuck energies from your system, as this energy is an energy of evolution and uh, its purpose is to align you to your highest divine potential. And one of the aspects of that potential is your ability to start tapping into your joy centers so as you will be the first sign will be that you will start accessing those magical spaces in your consciousness and you would be like awestruck oh i didn't feel like this any time before that oh this is really new experience for me this is really intense but in a good way and i would like to uh, experience it more so it's a very good motivational energy as well you will be receiving during this process as you would like to uh, stay put in your efforts towards your self-development and your self-growth process during uh, this access you will be granted in your process so the emergence of joy is like um, you're becoming uh, more self-reliant for your happiness so this is where you're awakening to your potential to create and co-create your own happiness and less dependence on external circumstances or factors because you are coming back home. <laughs> so awakening is all about coming back home. And when we are truly authentically coming back home, we are discovering those treasures within us, those divine seeds of potentialities that are residing within our own soul center or within our own heart center waiting to be uh, fruitioned through our uh, inner work that we had been doing previously, the shadow work. So uh, some of the signs and symptoms you will start receiving is through the sprouting of these seeds <laughs> and the seeds of joy as they sprout and they sparkle within your consciousness with the energy that feels good to sense. And that is one of the signs that you're moving forward in your 
process. Mm -hmm. And the second sign is that your enthusiasm to return back to life activities will be restored. <laughs> I know this is the major fear of all of us who are sailing through this process or who um, have sailed through that process during that time, that will I be ever able to get past this energetic shift which feels and uh, which is so frightening will I be ever able to get back to my normal life routine and start doing things with a similar kind of interest engagement curiosity and attachment as I used to have previously before uh, kundalini started uh, its activation in my system so this will start happening and the integration stage, you will start returning to the same textures, flavors, and sensory experiencing as you had been uh, experiencing before the process overtook your system. So this will start happening, but in with a much forward momentum because there will be much better man. You won't be the same person. You won't be experiencing it from the same vibrational frequency, definitely there will be the increase and the charge in your vibrational frequency is going to improve and increase. And you will be experiencing a life from uh, different lens or filters of high vibrational frequency. So the way you will be approaching uh, the things and um, you will be doing from a much open space of heart-centered consciousness and you will be more awake and aligned with your life purpose. You will have a vision and clarity around uh, how and where you want to put your energies to, what are your gifts and what is your life purpose. That will become very clearly um, visible in your third eye center so you will be more aligned and your intuitive consciousness will be more aligned to your uh, life purpose so that is another sign that your integration process is happening in the right way now we come to the third uh, point that is expansion of your heart center you will find yourself to be more forgiving not only to yourself, but towards others, more compassionate, not only to yourself, but to others. And thank goodness, this is because of all the shadow work and inner work that you had been doing that is reaping its benefits and fruits in your life right now. So your connection with your intuitive consciousness is going to grow. It is like you are getting in touch with the resonance and the vibrational frequency of the things around you as well as the decision making you will be doing is more coming from that sense of resonance. Like I remember this is a newly acquired skill that I didn't have earlier on before my Kundalini awakening. And there is a subtle sense of resonance that you will start sensing in the people, faces, and decisions, textures that you want to um, use or make for yourself, which is, I think, a, such a beneficial uh, thing to happen to any human being because our main dilemmas arise when we are making decisions that are coming from a place of lack of clarity, more from our overthinking, mental makeup, and our conditioned aspects of life where we lack clarity, we are not in touch with our bodily intuitive awareness and intelligence. So these are some of the gifts you will be getting if you are clearing the baggage and going in the right direction your intuitive capacities are going to expand you will have more clarity so this will give you more confidence as well and you will be focusing on the things that seem to you like your highest good and also your life purpose so you have a vision of doing things that are more aligned with your gifts and you're more in touch with your gifts at the same time so these are the three things and I'll be talking more as I sail through my process and I'll keep you informed about what are the other integrations that this Kundalini energy is activating as she is 
smoothly sailing through our systems after all the inner work that we have been doing. I wish you all the best and I send you love from the bottom of my heart wherever you are in your process, wishing you grace to be bestowed in your process and stay well wherever you are and never lose hope as this is an energy of divine essence residing within each one of us. She's bringing you in the right direction. The only fear is coming from the fears we have cultivated from our conditioning. <laughs> so always trust, surrender, and keep praying and connecting with this energy for your good, your highest good. Love you all. Stay blessed wherever you are. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And press the heart button if you would like to support my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.